Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have an emergency urgent update for you today on these Bitcoin charts. We are going to be going through the absolute important support and resistance levels that we can be trading off of today as we breach up towards this $60,000 level. Here we are on a Sunday morning. Not every Sunday I give an update, but here I am for you this morning as we are going to be covering the Bitcoin charts. Want to try and keep this one under the 5-10 minute mark. Sunday morning update. Let's go. I hope that you really enjoy this video. And here we are going to be talking about <laughs> nearly said it, talking about Binance. I actually want to start off talking about Binance, funnily enough, and then we're going to talk about Bitcoin. Just a really quick one minute um, update for you all, because I actually only found out this this morning, posted it over on Twitter. People were thanking me for the heads up. We obviously, I'm really, really, really surprised by the decision, but KYC is going to be mandatory enforced. You Basically, you have no choice but the KYC if you want to use Binance, because from the 3rd of December, if you have not KYC'd, they will totally lock your account. You will not even be able to trade on the exchange, which I find, yeah, for me, that was a was surprising. I'm not, let me tell you this, I'm not against KYC. I understand the importance of it, and I will KYC on my exchanges. But as you all know, I am not a fan of Binance. I will not KYC on their exchange, because I just think it's shady. But my personal opinion, Obviously, you can make your own informed decision, do some research about this, but this is an absolute fact. From the 3rd of December, if you have not KYC'd, you will not be able to trade on the exchange. I personally think this will lead to Binance losing a lot of volume because many people with inside crypto do not want a KYC. Uh, you know, you have to give them your passport, driving license, you know, it's crazy. Uh, for, for an exchange such as, as this, obviously, I will say for... You know, I am obviously, or chart champions are affiliated with Bybit. I like Bybit. It's totally allowed within the UK and obviously many other countries. There's no problems. You can do not have to KYC to trade on the exchange. If you want to leave Binance and join Bybit, well, we obviously still run the deal of a free up to $3,000 for free and 10% off all of your trading fees via our affiliate link, which I will leave in the description below. But yeah, really, I just wanted to make people aware of this because you know, I don't think everybody knows. And yeah, that is coming into effect from the 3rd of December. KYC or leave the exchange. It's as simple as that. If you want to leave, buy bit. Best exchange in the world right now for cryptocurrency trading. And I will leave our link in the description below. With that said, let's move over to Bitcoin here. Bitcoin making its way up, as I said, towards that $60,000 level. Falling quite shy of it actually last night. Coming up once again towards the daily close, coming up into the weekly with a bit of a pullback here. So I want to cover, I think I can get this one under five minutes, it's going to be nice. I want to cover really, really, really simply what we can be looking at and reminding you of one very important thing that you do not want to be forgetting, okay? So first of all, the levels. Well, you can see where we where we fell shy of last night, and it was obviously just shy of that $60,000 level, Okay. We failed just shy of it, obviously, on Coinbase, the spot exchange by a bit here, falling just short of it across all of them. So what what was this? What was the reason? Well, $60,000 is what I will refer to as a big psychological level, especially on the weekend. Remember yesterday, Saturday, today, obviously Sunday, um, we're on the weekend. What is the weekend? Relatively, you know, the volume is decreased on a weekend. It's not as high volume, obviously, as your weekday trading. And at $60,000 being a psychological level, people are thinking to themselves, you know, hey, for example, if they long to the lower daily, I still hold that long, by the way, but if you long to the lower daily or if you long maybe some retests, like $60,000 for a lot of people is like a psychological level where they think, hey, you know, I'll take a bit of profits here on my longs or, you know, I'll short here, I'll hedge here. $60,000 has just got a lot of interaction for being that big psychological level. So obviously when it got slightly front run last night, if a lot of people are trying to sell $60,000, you know, you have to edge forwards and edge forwards in the order book to get filled. So in my opinion, $60,000 is not necessarily a major level of technical confluence, but it is that psychological level. What I will say is the more times, you know, if, if we are to find support and come up and test this level again, I would expect the next or the third attempt to break this level, okay? Even if it's just by a wick to gather the 60K liquidity, you know, another one or two tests of this of this psychological level, I would expect it to be broken, at least for the wick, because it is not a technical level, it's just a psychological level, okay? Obviously, your 
bigger technical levels come up towards that $61,000, which is obviously where you have months now worth of point of controls, e.g. a very big technical volume level. Of course, then above that, we have our, our weekly. So that's that's the next you know one or two levels of resistance we've got the psychological 60k which is currently holding us down and then above that we got that 61 big volume point of control level you know this is a big 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 volume level that we've got to be aware of and then above us really simply that that weekly okay so that's the very close buy levels of resistance currently held down by the psychological sixty thousand dollar slight front run obviously at last night a lot of people wanting to you know take profits or, or, or take a short off of this so if, if we come down to look at our levels of support well <laughs> obviously this daily is going to be a big level that's at fifty seven thousand dollars you can see uh, it's come down you know forming a wick onto it yesterday with that swing photo pattern potentially do it again if you pull your fibonacci i'll just do it for you. you when you pull your fibonacci from this low up to the high you're going to have confluence around the cc to here as well today okay if we come down to this um, you know today and that's obviously just above and we're going to call this a zone of around $57,000. For me, this is one of the only places that I would personally want to uh, look for today if it comes down. If it doesn't come down this low and it just heads up, I'm really happy not taking a trade today. Again, it's the weekend. I'm not, you know, I'm not that bothered if I if I miss a trade on the weekend, really. Uh, you know, if, if I have an alert go off and it's worth taking it, that's the only place that I would personally look to trade today. So I'd either look for the move back up towards the weekly or drop down towards the daily, you know, have an alert set on either one, be patient, wait for the move down, wait for the move up, get involved. If there is a trade, as I told you, there's one thing that you need to remember that is going to be happening tonight on the Bitcoin chart. What is that? And it's going to be the CME gap. OK, again, this is going to be opening in almost just under 12 hours, 11 hours time is the CME gap uh, because the CME is going to obviously open for the Bitcoin um, exchange on the futures market <laughs> so the cme gap is at the moment going to have a gap to the upside because we are above where we closed on friday night so this is something to be aware of of course there's still another 11 hours and the gap is going to change the gap position will 100 change from where we are right now so this is just something that i remind you of because it's obviously very important um, to be aware of okay to be aware of so that is something that I want to remind you of to pay attention to in 11 hours time. Um, so yeah, I've talked you through the CME gap to remind you basically of this, the levels which I am looking forward to the upside and below us. And one last reminder is obviously I do have a Champions live stream tonight. Uh, this will be uh, just before the CME gap opens. Obviously, I go into Bitcoin, delete all my analysis and go in, you know, like this, but times 100 more in depth. You know, I'm going to go fully into the charts on a larger term time frame and, you know, really dissect the charts, do my analysis and then come to a conclusion of what I believe is the next best trade for the swing trades. It's more focused on the higher term time frame. And so you can get into my brain understand how I actually mark out my levels, how I do my in-depth analysis, and then come to a conclusion with my trading plans. So if that's of interest to you, obviously that's over at chartchampions.com for the Champions Level Mentorship. Uh, final reminder, if you want to join Bybit, I'll leave the link down for that in the description below as well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I actually was surprised by this. Again, I'm not against KYC, but um, yeah, I'm just surprised by the decision of Binance totally, if I'm totally honest. I do think that they will lose a lot of customers. Um, and yeah, last of last but not least, of course, though, I'm not a financial advisor. So do your own research, do your own analysis, do your own, you know, thought processes. <laughs> I'm just here to give you some education and obviously a bit of entertainment on the side. Thank you ever so much. If you have enjoyed this video, hit that like button and I'm just going to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Eight minutes, under 10 minutes wasn't bad. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to go enjoy my Sunday during the day. I'll be back in the night for the Champions live stream. Thank you ever so much. Have a great day. And that's me signing out. Goodbye. Cheers.